What's up, YouTube? It's Team Master here, bringing you guys a Madden 18 Ultimate Team. This is, I don't know how many times I've attempted to <laughs> record this, but things just are not cooperating. Technology doesn't like to cooperate. So this is like, I think like, uh, time number three or something like that. But anyways, we're sticking to Nickel 335. This is our conference championship game to get us into the Super Bowl. As we're lurking over the middle with, I believe that was Terrell Suggs, trying to take it back to the house. Unfortunately, Terrell Suggs is just a little too slow. We actually, he's still on the team. There's a few upgrades. This team's actually fairly old as we get a good hot dot right there. I think, now I'm looking back on this, I might have been able to rock catch that to take it into the house. But here we go with inside zone. I'm trying to go right up the middle. He might have ran come out there. I think it was just a blitz. I'm not entirely sure. But we're going to go hurry up off. And so you can see the ball is literally maybe five inches away from the end zone as he gets another good stuff actually ends up making us lose a yard that time <clears throat> so here we are still on defense we're going to be going into single back ace into quick slants now if I often, often what I try to rely on like you can see right here he's coming up 4-4 four, four. I'm thinking he's going to run commit here he actually doesn't run commit so that's a really smart play on his part we throw a pick Stupid play on my part. Saw the guy open. I think if I would have thrown it just a hair earlier, I think we would have had the touchdown. But unfortunately, we get it picked off. Still a nickel 3 through 5. Looking for the middle. He actually is going to take the check down to the side and good pass on his part. Good smart read. Middle, there's nobody open in the middle. So that was a good decision on his part just to take that. So a lot of people have been running this pistol formation. Though. It's like pistol tree or something like that. People run like halfback zone or something like that. As right there, for some reason, our cornerback just gives up on the route and just lets him go by. I don't know what happened there. But anyways, we're going to man him up this time to make sure that that does not happen again. And this time, he just sort of chucks it. And he gets really awful pass. That's Cam Newton for you right there. If you guys want a quarterback, don't go with Cam Newton. He overthrows. He underthrows. He just is, I don't know. He sucks at throwing in general in Madden. <laughs> I don't know why, but anyways, we're going to go with PA, we're going to be like in gun trio, PA post shot, have a little bit of a delayed slam in the middle. He's actually using the D-line. I was hoping that he was going to use her, the middle linebacker and pull up so we'd have to slant over the middle, but unfortunately, he's on the D-line. So, right there, we end up throwing an incomplete pass to our tight end, Kelly Winslow, which is still on the team. In a future video, I'm going to be showing you guys an update as we just sort of choose a random player. here. See who's going to go up and now watch X. I just watched that play and I realized how stupid of a pass that was. And I would have had X open because you can see his user is actually pulling up. And X would have been wide open over the middle. So I'm going to have to remember that. I'm definitely going to keep track of that play for some later games. I actually don't remember what, that's gonna, what that play was called. So I'm going to have to go back and rewatch that and see what it was. But anyways, here we are back on defense. The first half is pretty much coming to a close. The score is still 0-0. He calls the screenplay, good play call, but we are luckily able to get up there and make the wrap-up tackle to stop him from getting a large gain. So here we are, third and 12, down 24, 38 seconds left to go, and he throws it right at me. I mean, I'll take that, I'll take that. William McGinnis is actually also, <laughs> also no longer on our team as well, but if you guys are looking for a solid budget right outside of that back, you can play left just as well. Will McGinnis is definitely a good choice. I think this one was like the 88 overall. So not full legend, but still he he made some awesome plays on the quarterback. Definitely a good pass rusher. So we're looking for A. A gets open. Now, <clears throat> here's one thing I would tell you. The curl flat, the cloud flat, soft squat, whatever you guys want, hard flat even. If there's no other receiver on that side of the field, what's going to end up happening, even though it's a purple zone, they're going to pull down. This is a little bit of a tip. They're going to pull down to cover the flat since there's nobody else over there. It's just that one receiver they have to worry about. So if you guys are looking to get some good yardage off of a cover three, if you go into like PA post shot or something similar to that, and you put the tight end on the flat route, it's going to pull the safety down to play into the hard flat, which is going to leave that crossing route open over the top a little bit for like a gain of 15 yards. That's just how it's going to play. I don't know why. That's just how it is. So anyways, that's just a little tip right there. As we go up, get a good touchdown right there with Jerome Bettis. Again, he is no longer on the team. He's just not agile enough. But nonetheless, we are now up 7-0. He's coming back to the guy. Singback ace. 
I'm going to be watching the post over the middle. We're still sending that corner back on the blitz just to make him have to pick it up every single time. As we're looking over the post over the middle, and for some reason, I just don't get any animation. I think he might have high pointed it. I don't know entirely right there what happened. He's going to Julian Edelman again. That's really his go to receiver. You can see the red star underneath him means it is one of his best offensive players. So, merely, this guy doesn't have too much of a squad as you can see right there. Worse, I should have put a spy out, but Cam Newton just takes another hit. But watch, he's going to hurry up again. I don't know why people why people get mad when they're constantly hurrying up and they're a quarterback over the roads. That's your fault for doing that. As we're going to man up the cornerback again to make sure that nothing happens and nothing is open and Cam Newton takes the sack by Rage White. Rage White at that time was on a QB spy. And you can look right here, would it be coming underneath? And actually, we get the computer makes a play. Carl Joseph actually makes a play <clears throat> and gets us a... Uh, so, oh, I think if he was just a little bit faster, I would have been a pick six. So we're going to be back on offense, down 27, pretty much into the third quarter, towards the end of the third quarter. And right here, he is going to pause the game, and that's pretty much going to be a rage quit. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure you subscribe, turn on those notifications. I'm going to try to live stream finals week. It's going to be real difficult. But anyways, that's all I got for you guys. Thanks for watching. This has been Team Master. I will catch you guys later. See ya.